create. Because every human on this earth is born with this empty canvas. And your life is what you paint. There's nobody more special than anybody on this earth. It's just people that's willing to go down into the valley of nothingness. Wake up every single day thinking about how can I change my life? How can I stand on a stage with the Giants? I started this on homeless on the side of a Turkey Hill gas station and I told myself I will not die here. I said, how can I build a million dollar business with no money? A conscience in my head spoke to me and it said purpose. They said, when you work for your purpose, your purpose will begin to work for you and dreams and beautiful things will start to manifest. And I truly believe this. And when I realized that I was gonna have to put on my hard hat, that I was gonna have to put on my boots and I was gonna have to strap up and fight for this dream, that's when things started to happen. I told people, I never wanted to be the man and the leader that stood in the front and everyone stood behind me. I wanted to be a leader that everybody stood on side of me and we fought together. And we won't sell our soul for a taste of a light bulb. It's time that real comes to life. That's why the world is falling in love with this motivation, because it's real. You can feel it, you can see it, you can you know it. Because more this, my motivation comes from my darkest days. You want me to come to the middle of the projects? I'm coming. You want me to go with murderers, sleep and live? I'm coming. You want me to fight that abusive husband that's beating on you? I'm coming. I'm going to take drug dealers and turn them into community leaders. I'm going to turn murderers into security. I'm going to turn drug addict mothers back into beautiful queens. I'm going to turn broken men into kings. And I'm going to show them that everything you tried to hide, God placed inside of me to tell the truth. So when I say the kings are on the rise, we are on the rise. But are you willing to die? Are you willing to sleep outside of that CEO office for an opportunity? You see, just getting to the opportunity is hard. Seizing the moment is a whole nother monster. So while you fighting and you clawing to get to the next level, let me tell you something. If you're a person out there buying, trying to buy your way to the top, I want to let you know something, King and Queen. You can't buy a legacy. This you must earn. So be the type of person that's willing to fight. Give your blood, sweat, and tears for what you believe in. And understand, a legacy can never be bought. See, the Most High give us this dynamic gift, this gift that's so amazing. I mean, this gift that the whole world wants to buy. but he makes us work for them. He makes us grind, he makes us feel the pain of the process. And for me, I would say I'd rather have it no other way. See, we get a lot of people that throw all these big conferences, throw all these big amazing events, and what I realize is, you pay $10,000, but the Most High is the only one that's going to give you the date that says it's time for you to be great. It's time for you to be phenomenal.
See, many of us like to skip the hard part. We like to skip the stages that make us the great people that we are born to be. Les Brown has a saying, live full and die empty. And that's what I live by. I realize that you have to be willing to sleep outside of that office for your opportunity. You must be willing to go down to the shelter and eat those canned goods for your opportunity. You must be willing to almost die for your dream. And you must realize that you cannot buy this. No one can give you this. You must earn this. I played the game as if my life was on the line. And individuals all over the world to understand this very thing. Greatness lies in the man that believes it's in them. See the big dogs, they won't give you the opportunity. You're gonna have to take it. You're gonna have to sleep in your car. You're gonna have to sleep on that floor. You're gonna have to cry them tears. But we're not gonna be crybabies. We're gonna be lions. You know when a lion is injured, when a lion is bleeding, he licks his wounds and he keeps walking.